Survivors and victims of late dictator Ferdinand Marcos' tyrannical rule pledged to guard the country against tyranny on Thursday, June 30. The same day Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. takes his oath as the new Philippine president. Martial law victims and survivors hold a program in Bantayog ng Mga Bayani in Quezon City, a memorial park honoring martial law heroes. The Panunumpa para sa Bayan or Oath for the Country was led by martial law survivors, renowned playwright Bonifacio Ilagan, and former Commission on Human Rights Chairperson Eda Rosales. Nang pag-upo bilang Pangulo, Nang pag-upo bilang Pangulo ay hindi magpapalaya, ay hindi magpapalaya sa pananagutan sa kasaysayan, sa pananagutan sa kasaysayan na dapat aminin ng pamilyang Marcos, na dapat aminin ng pamilyang Marcos ang pandarambong, ang pandarambong at dapat ibalik at dapat ibalik sa mga kinauukulan sa mga kinauukulan ang mga minakaw ang mga minakaw Meantime, various progressive groups also staged demonstrations at Plaza Miranda in Manila to reject Marcos Jr.'s inauguration and the Marcos's return to Malacañang. At least 19 groups, including Bayan Muna and Kabataan Party List, were present in the Manila demonstration. During these events in Manila and Quezon City, youth leaders were arrested by the police along Commonwealth Avenue during a lighting banner hanging activity near the CHR. At around 3 p.m., Akbayan announced the arrested youth leaders were eventually released by the police.